Hello everyone, this is the Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. So I'm about to review Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. And was it fantastic? Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about the movie, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel. So what was Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald about? Long title. Other than being a long title. <laughs> it's about Grindelwald, who is an AKA prequel or precursor to Lord Voldemort, which they have the same belief that muggles, uh, non-magical people who are basically the normal human beings, they're, they should be enslaved and that their masters should be the wizards, the witches, or whatnot, or the warlocks, and that he should be on top of that food chain. And he is building an army so he can go, go ahead and have war between the Ministry of Defense and the other side, or the other one that's trying to um, create an army is also Dumbledore. Uh, which is played by Jude Law, and he recruits Newt to go ahead and go against Grindelwald. And the key, for some reason, is Creden Credence, who is Ezra Miller's uh, character. So what worked for me for The Crimes of Grindelwald, or Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald? It was actually Dumbledore. He, Jude Law, really actually worked. He has the char charisma of being um, a leader he had the charisma of that and the only thing is he had little things to do and that's the same with Johnny Depp's character Grindelwald he had some inkling or potential of being a great character but again there was not things or not a lot of material that was given to both Jude Law's character and uh, Johnny Depp's character, but as a character, they both work. And if again, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you love Fantastic Beasts: The Crimes of Grindelwald because it does have a lot of references as, of Harry Potter, especially when they even went to Hogwarts. There's a uh, young McGonagall, and there's Dumbledore as the dark arts magic professor. And there, that's where he's also recruiting all his soldiers or army to go against uh, Grindelwald. And also we see the flashbacks of why supposedly he can't go against uh, Grindelwald. Uh, there are some inklings, I think you guys saw it in the, the trailers, that they might have a romantic relationship. And again, the CGI is good to great, just like any other... Uh, Harry Potter, especially the very first scene where you see uh, Johnny Depp's character, Grindelwald, escapes uh, from transport, from, I guess, prison to another prison. It showed the way an expert wizard could be and how they would escape, and it was uh, brilliantly done. So what didn't work for me? It was actually the third act. There was something missing there because... There was a character that you would have never thought would be the one to save the day. That's all I'm going to say without spoiling it. And then the other one is the story. It's too crammed. They, uh, J.K. Rawlings really crammed in a lot of Easter eggs. Uh, a lot of things that you know, made it uh, the story convoluted. Because they, she wanted to go ahead and have a nod with the Harry Potter uh, franchise. And also the Harry Potter fans. But that made the story wasted time, especially when she was showing the beast where she could have went dug deep into probably Grindelwald's plan and, and deeper on his character. Because with that, there was hardly any crime. They did show some things that he did was horrible, but that was it. It was just to show, but there was nothing, no pun intended, deeper or deeper uh, characterization of Grindelwald. And again, 
with the crimes of Grinnewald, there was hardly any crimes. And lastly, it's Snoot himself. Um, the way that uh, Eddie Romaine plays him, the way that he is unsympathetic, I guess, I would not cheer for him. I don't like him, you know, because of the things that he says and things that he does. So, was Fantastic Beast, the crimes of Grinnewald, fantastic? If you were a Harry Potter fan, you would say, yes, Fantastic Beast: Crimes of Grindelwald is a fantastic film because it ties in a lot of questions and also, also gives you, after the movie, with some questions so you can get um, excited for the next film. But for me, it was a 50-50. Because of a, as a Harry Potter fan, I would say it serves a purpose to move the story along and that's what I thought it was uh, just like any anime there's like filler episode this felt like a filler uh, movie so they can go ahead and move forward to the third movie and hopefully that the story moves along but as as a standalone it was not that fantastic so who should be watching this Harry Potter fans of course and people that would really love to revisit it with like this one but don't expect a tight story it is all over the place it does have the same problem like any other franchise that's trying to do their universe they're trying to cram into many things instead of concentrating on the main character Newt or even Grindelwald or even Dumbledore so that is what I thought about Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Have you watched it? What kind of Harry Potter fans are you? Do you like the books? Do you like the movies? Have you watched all the movies? Uh, leave the comment down below. And like always, that's a wrap.